This is where Saskatoon's Griffith Stadium used to stand, and it was here 60 years ago that Harry Jerome shocked the world. Everyone knew the 19-year-old was fast. Nobody knew how fast. Men are in the blocks, and they're off and running, and it's a good start. And here they come, roaring down to the finish line. Harry Jerome of Vancouver out in front. George Short running in second spot. Lynn Eves also in there. Harry Jerome, the winner of the men's 100-meter final. Several minutes later, the official time was announced. 10 seconds flat. A new world record. Harry Jerome was now the fastest man on the planet. Harry, when you were standing on that victory podium and the fans stood right up in their seats and really gave you a round of applause, I imagine it was quite a thrill. Yes, it was. Harry, how long have you been running competitively? This is my third year in track. And uh, the 100 and 200 meters are your specialty? Yes. Jerome didn't say much, but few knew the vicious racism he'd endured to get to this point. Harry Jerome was born in Prince Albert, but his family moved to Vancouver shortly after. On his first day of school with his sisters, they were forced to leave after children threw rocks repeatedly at them in the schoolyard. This happened for several days. When his family tried to move in to a North Vancouver neighborhood, people petitioned until the family left. During his racing career, Harry Jerome was often branded as arrogant or even ungrateful. But now, some are hoping the Black Lives Matter movement will help. They hope to see changes in policing and society, but they also hope it will prompt people to reevaluate the legacy of black Canadians like Harry Jerome. For being one of the best uh, athletes on the planet, uh, I think that he deserves all the accolades that anyone of that statue should get. One Regina runner agrees. Carol Lafayette Boyd says that when Jerome broke the record, she was the only black high school student in Regina. Lafayette Boyd became a world master's sprint champion. Here in Saskatchewan, I don't think we've done much really for, about Harry Jerome, since, especially since he's a Saskatchewan born young man. There's a plaque here at the new Griffith Stadium in Saskatoon to commemorate Jerome's record run. The track in Prince Albert also bears his name. Now Lafayette Boyd, Donovan Bailey and others say these physical reminders are important, but Canadians need to acknowledge the whole story, not just Harry Jerome's gold medals and records. Well, the ground has to be surveyed and the wind gauge has to be checked. Jason Warwick, CBC News, Saskatoon.